Hello everyone and welcome to Usitility. Today we are going to see how to play Undon on PC using the brand new Bluestacks 5, that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action. We will be able to easily download and install Undon and enjoy the game on our Windows PC with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to Bluestacks 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play Undon. So without further ado, let's get to it. Before anything else mates, to start we need to open our favorite browser. We open the one we use by default. Let's continue, going to this URL I have highlighted in green. There you are seeing it on the PC screen. There is no need to type it, simply because there's the link in the video description and the first pinned comment. We arrived right here on the site of Usitility, exactly where we include in-depth demonstration on the way to obtain Undon on personal computer. We browse down a little bit and press on the download game on PC button. After we click on that link, we land here on the site of Bluestacks. No panic, it is only the Android emulator that we will run to enjoy the game Undon on our PC. As you can discover from here we access a great deal of pros of preferring using the emulator. Then, we are on the way to proceed to download the Undon by simply clicking on this button play on Bluestacks that you can visualize here in green color. The step is clicking on the button. Of course, the download action takes no time at all. Voila, this is the download. It is a file we have to execute. The following step is to run the executable file. Okay, so we have to click on this file. Windows 10 users will be asked for permission to make modifications to the laptop or device. We said yes. I reduced the web browser to view the installation software better. The installation software is straightforward. It is made up of two options, install and setup path. I will make it clear what setup path truly does. We only click it. And now we observe that we end up with here the path in which the emulator will be placed. If we prefer to vary this folder we are required to click on this browse option. Therefore we decide on another directory and install the emulator where we desire. I prefer to leave it as it is. I simply click back. And therefore I pick install. Great. The install starts and it's going to carry on together with the download of those MB that happens to be represented on our computer screen. The moment you save it on your machine, it might possibly be slightly more or less megabytes. The data transfer speed may go at a higher speed or slower, subject to your web access and depending on the speed of the emulator web servers. Right now they are working very fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With Bluestacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance-related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, Bluestacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. At this point, the emulator has actually been launched on autopilot. As you will notice, down here, there's a progress bar which will advance to the right then when it comes to the finish, the emulator can be started for the first time. The reality is the emulator was already started, here for the first time. Before we continue on, as you can see now, it created two icons right here on the computer desktop. The Bluestacks and Bluestacks multi-instance. Note that the Bluestacks app icon is going to be the one we're concerned about. Anytime we need to start Undon on the PC, we double-click on this specific app icon and use the emulator. The Bluestacks multi-instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with Bluestacks 5's new improved multi-instance manager in Eco Mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. We should perform the following step, which is actually a must, and this is to visit the Google Play Store. And we'll simply click on Play Store. As you will notice the Google Play is presented. There we have got to log on. At present as soon as we're on this page, we are required to perform this next phase that is definitely compulsory. Therefore just click on, sign in. At this point it announces, checking info. It may occasionally get blocked in, checking info, and this fails to continue. In that case, you could attempt to connect to your account after a few hours and it may most probably be sorted out. At this point we will provide our email and password. The email really needs to be a Gmail email address as well as its associated password. As an example you make use of the very same email you're using at this moment in your own YouTube account. Then I will enter my information and I will revisit as soon as I have completed it. That's all, details typed. Below is Google welcoming us and providing us their twos. We must say yes to all of them by just pressing, I agree. After that, it allow us to back up to the Google Cloud. You can also let it checked and this will make a backup of your files on that device to Google Drive. I will not check it, you can utilize this feature if you prefer. We mouse click on accept. The Google Play Store is launched automatically and on autopilot. To install the video game, we would need to get to the emulator desktop for Android by simply clicking on that app icon indicated green color. Today that we are watching the desktop of this Android emulator, we observe that we have now there the install app option. We simply click on this button. Right here we get the Android game. 
How about we click on now on the install choice that I am just presenting now in green color. Therefore it will begin the software setup. Presently it should download on your desktop or laptop and set up the Android game. It could take quite some time or perhaps it may possibly be almost immediate. It again all depends on our internet connection. It's by then finished setting up. Back to the emulator desktop by simply clicking on that option that I'm presenting in green, that allows you to use Undon for the very first time. I am at present on the emulator desktop, and as a consequence we're on the way to simply click on that fresh Undon app icon which was generated. That video game is started for the first time on your device. Currently there we get it, I can also mouse click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I am going to talk about the volume of this emulator. It's here, we have got the icon of higher volume along with the icon of lower volume. This manner we do not count on the Microsoft Windows volume to increase or decrease the sound experience of the emulator. As well as to appreciate the experience to the max, we will switch on the big screen, for which we have two alternatives. That is simply the first one, we mouse click on this particular icon which I'm showing in green color. Then the display screen is maximized, getting one border on top, one on the right side and the third one at the bottom. Supposing that we wish to have fun with the application in full screen, we select that application icon. And we'd by now be experiencing the Android game in full screen setting. To stop the 100% screen functionality, just click the F11 key. And we'd by now end up being in regular computer screen setting. At this moment I am starting to demonstrate to you the computer keys mapping which is definitely rather useful. That step we definitely will be in a position to play the game application far more easily. The first thing is to mouse click this software icon. It's now time to get the recommended adjustments. I most certainly will let the normal settings, however if you plan to adjust this, you may very well do so without having problem. Perhaps you have realized, the emulator is totally in our own language. Occasionally it happens that your emulator is presented in the erroneous language, for instance, in Mandarin. Then to set it up in the correct language we browse here to the cogwheel. So right here within many other controls, we simply click on the language drop down. We may very well determine the language we need, Italian, Japanese, and so forth. After the language is determined, we are going to save, the emulator would restart, and the game app, the next time we start it, would of course be in the selected language. At this time, there's another information that we have to take into account, and it's that we will get an email telling you that a brand new electronic device has been associated with this Google account. It will definitely check with us if we're the individuals who have associated with that device. Indeed, we should not get worried, simply because the emulator is emulating in Google Android electronic device. And then to discover which tablet or smartphone is currently being emulated, we arrive right here, to the cogwheel and we then click on it. And so we go here to the, model, choice. And now we discover that the emulator is simulating a Samsung mobile. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. This is it folks, so much for our video user demo. I believe you enjoyed it, especially that everyone thought it was interesting. In that case, bring it a pleasant thumb up, subscribe, and any comments, issues or suggestions, let them in the comment area below. Simply click any of these videos that happens to be showing up on the suggestion of videos to watch and see you in the future videos. Bye.